And well, in a major crackdown uh, on its own ranks, the Pakistan Army Court has court-martialed three army officers linked to the violence uh, on May 9th following the arrest of former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan. The clashes killed at least 14 and left many others injured. 102 army men allegedly involved in the riots are being investigated. Uh, three army officers, including a lieutenant general, have been court-martialed, while 15 officers, including three major generals, have been fired from the Pakistan army over the May 9th violence. Uh, now, family members of the army officials have also been placed under custody, including the daughter and son-in-law of a four-star general. Now, the scars of the Pakistani uh, violence, uh, violent anti-establishment protests on May 9th are still leaving a mark on civilians and the judiciary alike. The Pakistan Apex Court initially set up a nine-member bench to decide whether civilians involved in the violence should face a military trial. Initially, two judges recused themselves. These were Justice Kwasi Fez Issa and Chief Justice of Pakistan Umar Atta Bandeyal. This led to a nine-member bench being reduced to seven. But now the Attorney General has also taken a reservation to one of the judges and Justice Syed Mansoor Ali has also recused himself from the bench. The six-member bench is now hearing the matter uh, over the May 9th protest uh, and is deciding the fate of both civilians and what happens to those involved in the violence. The violence remember, broke out uh, post the arrest of Imran Khan. And Anas Malik is now joining us for the very latest on this. Anas, uh, hugely significant there, the fact that the army has closed in on its own ranks and has court-martialed three army officers, uh, including a former lieutenant general. Well, not a former lieutenant general, as what reports indicate, uh, Bhairvi. This is my. This might just well be a serving lieutenant general who has been acted upon and has been uh, fired from the military. These are three senior officers that we're talking about. Three officers that we're talking about that includes a lieutenant general who have been fired from the military in the uh, course of investigations as it was released or uh, um, uh, uh, as it was revealed during the course of investigations for their negligence or their complaints with the uh, uh, with the fact that how the 9th of May riots took place. This is what has been specified by the Director General of the Inter-Services Public Relations, Major General Ahmed Sharif, a short while back. He also went on to say that about 15, one, five, 15 officers, that includes three major generals and seven brigadiers, strict disciplinary action has been completed against them. Now, what, what would that action be? He has not specified that, but this the military signals that this is a, a, a term for robust accountability and that right. they, they, they are signaling, quote, no mercy for those who would be involved directly or indirectly in the acts and events of 9th of May, be that be one of their own, irrespective if they're serving or they're retired officials. Where are we? Right. Uh, hugely significant there, Anas, what you're saying, that it could be a current lieutenant general who is facing this kind of action. The army taking this matter very seriously. A lot happening uh, there in Pakistan, whether it's with the judiciary or the uh, political parties or with the government as well. Stay with us. Uh, there's more news from Pakistan.